I'm about to go see the viewing of my neighbor's body, you guys. I'm gonna dash in here and I'm gonna dash right back out because I get anxiety attacks. So, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it today. I know when my sister was here, I visited her for a few minutes and then I just sat in the front, gathered my thoughts. So, I'm here at MZ Walker Funeral Home on Ashby Street, on Ashby Street. And I'm going to tell my neighbor goodbye. So I'm leaving. She's on her way through the heavenly gates tomorrow. And I just want to let y'all know God is good all the time. Live your life. Stop playing and live, live, live. The thing about it is, is Miss Cynthia <laughs> convinced me to go on and wear my hair. She has a short, she had, ever since I met her, she's had a short haircut. It's a black salt and pepper haircut. And hers be like a little box at the top, which you know, trimmed off on the side and all kind of stuff like that. Miss Cynthia, I said, I'm gonna wait. Miss Cynthia said, No, don't wait. It's too hot to be wearing the weed. She said, Free yourself. And that's exactly what I did. I freed myself. I had been planning on taking on weed so anyway, y'all. I told my best friend Cheryl, who's like a sister to me. I said, girl, I'm so tired of these dogs on weeds. So I'm finna take this weed out. I'm just tired of wearing weeds, period. And I was still wearing no suckers. Another year passed, I'm still wearing the weeds. But fans I'm still wearing the weeds. So I made up in my mind one day. I was like, shoot. Miss Cynthia say you'll be free. Miss Cynthia say you'll feel like you're flying like a bird. <laughs> so... You know what? My friend Cheryl. I say, Cheryl, can you dye my hair? She said, Yeah, I can dye your hair. Sure. My friend Cheryl is a beautician. She's been a beautician for years, y'all. Over 20 years. She said, Yeah, I can dye your hair. So I went over there and got my hair dyed. But I told Miss Cynthia before I left her, so she was asking me to go somewhere. I said, I'm finna go get my hair done. I said, But when I leave from there, I'll bring back whatever you want me to bring back. I think it was some alcohol. So, when I got back, I had, had got my hair dyed, blonde. My friend had shaped me up and all kind of stuff like that. Put some lines in it, made it real cute. So, when I got back, I told Miss Cynthia, I say, I go around there, I take her what she want, check her mailbox, whatever I do. She came out the front door. I go to the front door. And she said, ooh, she said, that's so pretty. She said, that's so nice. She said, I know you feel like you should have been did that. And I said, yeah, I said, thank you, Miss Cynthia. I said, cause if it was for you, I don't think I would have did it as soon as I did. So she was like, girl, you look good. And let me tell you something, I ain't gonna tell no lie. I'm just gonna be real honest with you. Ever since that day, I began so many compliments. Even with me having to go get my hair, you know, retouched up and dyed and stuff, I still get so many compliments just like it is. You feel what I'm saying? And I just want to thank Miss Cynthia, boy. Because Miss Cynthia wasn't going to let up until I got that wig off my dog on. Hey, baby. Miss Cynthia told me, she said, you know when you get older, she said, your hair get gray, your teeth might fall out. Your bones go to getting weary and all kind of stuff like that. She said, but shoot, you're a beautiful person. You're a pretty lady. She said, go on and wear your dog on hair. And that's exactly what I did. I just want to say rest in peace to Miss Cynthia. She will be missed, baby, because she is she was hilarious, baby. Let me tell you something. We used to sit out, we used to get up early in the morning. And early in the morning, you know old people. I guess I'm considered old now since I'm fit to sell. We used to get up early in the morning. And it's a gate between our house. And we used to meet at the gate and we used to talk about the birds. How the birds be singing. How the sun was shining. And all kind of stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? And I told Miss Cynthia today. I said, Miss Cynthia, the sun is shining today. And the birds are singing. 
I just wanted to let her know that because that's the one of the first things that we talk about in the morning if I see her when I'm getting ready to leave in the morning. Rest in peace, Miss Cynthia. No more suffering. I sell and I get there. Peace.